All right, dodge the lights. Okay, we dodge the lights. <laughs> uh oh, we in water. Water test. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to take you through some of my thoughts, fabrication, and plans for building, fabricating, designing, all, all of the included. So I started with an existing trike unit. I, you know, I was just looked at it for a couple of days, and I almost decided to put a pusher on it, but the wheels didn't have bearings. Like, this thing would get broke pretty quick. So immediately, I decided I needed a more substantial design. My first thought was just to take a picture and do a rough drawing. Yeah, yeah, pretty rough, right? But it gives you the basic idea. This was my first thought on it. Then I went to the drawing board, and I decided to draw some detailed pictures after I calculated gears, drives, what I had. You know, a lot of this thing was built out of junk, so I had to utilize things on hand as well as stuff that I had to acquire. And I had to put it all together, so I do parts acquisition and engineering and design all sort of at the same time, if you will. Once I get it all together, I can fine tune from there. It's just the way Kylo goes about inventing things. I like to couldn't turn the stupid thing on. Does the glasses make it weird? Or does the, the evil night vision eyes make it weird? November the 1st was today. It was a big day. I did a lot of construction. I'm building the trike trainer. That's what the current mission is. Still in parts acquisition phase, but I've started welding some metal together at this point. So I was able to acquire some golf cart tires, hubs, and bearings on the cheap. Ordered this four-point harness, although I'm probably going to save that for a fly machine and just put a lap belt on the trainer. I got the Predator 212 engine, and I knew I could make the front forks for the tire. That was a give me. Again, used golf cart parts for all of the front end and then some square tube cut an angle in it. I got it so that I can extend it out for longer legged or pull it in for shorter legged people. Once I had it all thought out, I was able to cut and machine all the little pieces for the motor mount and the jack shaft mount. As you can see, I got some slats so that I could slide the motor. That's for chain tensioning purposes. And then the jack shaft I've got hard mounted and then I'll also be able to slide the rear axle on the swing arm. Now I had never built a swing arm on anything before, so I studied on that and decided that the pivot point for the swing arm should also be the axis of the axle for the jack shaft, if that makes sense to you. That way when the arm swings, it doesn't stretch the chain. I was able to salvage these swing arm mounting brackets, again, from the golf cart parts. I had some aluminum laying on the shelf. I machined these bushings to go to the inner parts. And this is how it all lines up and works together. I did some fancy cutting, bending, and welding on the rear swing arm. I spent some time on it, made sure it was nice and square, tacked it up right, got it bent out of the way so the chain will be able to drive. And I just used pillar blocks on the rear end. They move a little bit. I was able to get proper chain tension. Obviously, some axle hangers would have been the best thing, but this works. And this is where we're at at this point. We mocked everything up. Now we can figure out exact placement of the seat, seat brackets, and suspension calibration, which I did miss. Here's the seat brackets. I got it where it's kicked back a little, make it easy to look up at the wing. Now this suspension didn't work. I had too much weight on the side wheels, and I needed more weight on the drive wheel. I needed it to have the most traction so that it would push. Now, you see how far the metal comes out from the wheels and from the frame? So I cut that back and I added some pins. What I'm using for the lateral suspension is inch and a quarter fiberglass solid rod. It flexes a bit. I also had one inch available in case those were too stiff. And then I made these axles, again, out of golf cart parts and some junk that I had on the shelf. Squared them up, welded them up, drilled some holes. Now I can remove the axles and adjust as necessary. It turns out I got to shorten them a little bit so that it will fit on the trailer easily. Happy damn night, y'all. Let me turn the noisemaker off. It feels weird talking with earmuffs on. I think there's a party in the shop. Do you have any video with me crying when I got my frame? 
You cried in a video? I'm videoing right now. We got students, people hanging out everywhere. We're having like pre, <laughs> pre pair party, pair party, pre, Hello. pre pre pair party, pre weekend party. We got travelers from all over the nation already. As far north as Missouri, as far west as Las Vegas, Nevada, all the way to Miami, Florida. So we got the whole nation, like at least 80% of the nation covered right here, right now, at least. So, and there's gonna be more of that come pair party. They don't wanna be on the internet right now at all. I'm certain of it. But I'm gonna show you this wheeled monstrosity I've managed to f around and break and mess up and measure wrong and cut wrong and bend wrong. Now I've only had to grind welds twice, cut twice and re-weld once. So I'm pretty good for a custom first time prototype fabrication. Look what I got going on. Uh-oh, the, the two applauses, that's funny, huh? So this is the current state of affairs. I'm about to do some kind, what did I do to the camera? Ah, this T101 doesn't, what the shit? Okay. I'm about to assemble the thing for a, like a post trial run, trial run. I cranked it, made sure the mechanics of it was sound. I had changed the suspension, then I put it back together for a retest. It's hard to video and do this kind of stuff, by the way. I just welded the hoop on today. Got that kind of fabricated. I'm about to put in the roll bars. I got those made. I messed those up. I had the bends in the wrong spot. It was crooked. It was crooked as it gets. Harbor Freight Motors got oil and fuel in it. It cranks. I got a paramotor style throttle built for that dude going on right there. One of my favorite air conception clone throttles. I like those. Oh, clutch and homemade bushings and I bought a spring on eBay and then you know it feels awkward only coming in occasionally to finish the story I'm gonna leave the welding machine on I'm letting the duty cycle cut down this is where I finish zipping up the welds when you fabricate things you gotta you gotta get it all tacked together if you just weld it hard it warps real bad so you gotta t -t -t -t, put it in the right spot t -t 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 -t. you get it dialed in with some tacks and make sure it's where you want it because if you if you f up, you got to go in and grind that shit off. And if you welded it real good, you got to cut that metal and cut that metal. But if you did it, that's that's trick to fabricate. Just tack it. Tack it. There are some places, if you're going to do testing, there are places that you have to beef up ahead of time. I broke a tack messing around with the suspension. I should have tacked in the frame and welded it hard before I did the extraneous stuff. But now I'm doing like the motor mounts, the suspensions, all this, all the frame parts. Welded in tight. He ain't gonna bend this stuff, man. This thing is, it is together now. If I didn't want to scratch the hoop, I would just push it off like this. <laughs> that didn't hurt anything. Yeah, we'll be teaching people fly with this thing. I'm gonna put this camera down, get back to work. My duty cycle's over. Well, machine, I can, I can put this thing on the struggle bus. I've done it. I've put this machine on the struggle bus two or three times, running the duty cycle out of that thing. So we'll get to it. And of course, at this point, it was time for final disassembly, prep for paint, and paint. Oh, the mess I have made out here in the shop. I'm to the point of uh, paint, maybe final assembly. I ran out of spray paint. I got somebody bringing me some back. Thanks, Aaron. I got everything cleaned, ready to paint, and ready to bolt together. Went ahead and painted the, uh, the lower stuff with what little bit of paint that I had available. That way, I could start bolting it together and then test it. And then I can always paint the rest later. So we'll see how that works out. Aside from that, I'm kind of excited. Kind of excited. There's actually a moment of downtime right this second. So we'll... <laughs> oh, and I washed the wheels. I could grease the bearings. I didn't grease the bearings yet. I had to replace a few of them. Cleaned all that out. I'll pack some grease in there. Again, we'll use it for the test run. That'll be an easy fix after the fact. It's like a bright blue day. So yeah, we'll cut to the next section. <laughs> I see you came back for some of the worst content available on the internet. Shame on you. Do what? I thought nobody was listening or watching. Oh Lord, Jesus help me, she's listening. So we're now open for trike training at the Kylo School of Paramotor. I've built the trike trainer. Let's have a peek at it here, see what we got going on. Oh, how do you work the camera? How do you work the damn camera? So I ain't put the lap belt on it yet. I, I still gotta do wing testing, but I've driven the thing all around the yard and I'm 100% certain that this thing is gonna be amazing. It's heavy duty, it's got golf cart tires. Like I was trying to flip it by turning it real hard with my feet and I couldn't do it. I get some footage of me driving this thing around. I'm gonna hook a wing to it. I got me some collars here. That look like a comfortable spot. I may put some A-assist on here, I don't know. 
We just gonna we just gonna try to try to drag this wing around and see what it do. We're gonna see what it do. That's how they say it over there. Yeah. Got the Predator 2, 12, six and a half horse mounted up here. Got a suspension. I had to recalibrate the suspension. It was too much on the wheels. Now it's just it's just barely sitting on the wheels. It, they'll, they'll kick up a little bit. Most of the pressure's on the drive tire and it moves. I got six inch movement on it. When you're sitting on it, it feels good. It really does. It's soft ride and it digs. And so you don't lose traction, I don't imagine. It peels out a little at first. I got it geared down to go about nine miles an hour so that you can drive this thing in a zero wind and maintain a wing over your head without fully exerting yourself. And I believe that this is gonna be a real game changer for trike training in general. So let me explain to you what usually happens with tight tight. Gosh dang. Maybe I should have wrote this stuff out before I started talking about it. Then maybe I know what the hell I'm going to say. Now, when I've trained people to fly wheels, and I've done it a few times over the years, now I tell them if they buy the unit that they want to fly, I will teach them how to fly it. Now, if they consult with me beforehand about what unit to buy, there are some recommendations. With something like this, you can learn to drive the machine and control the wing without wrecking your stuff. Most often what happens when people show up for trike training is we, we go through basic kiting maneuvers. Once they're able to control the wing that's money in the bank because if you make a mistake on a trike and tump it over or chew a line up in the propeller you'll break a propeller spar net hoop you know maybe you're injured because you stuck your hands out and got scraped up on the ground out of reflex i don't know i've seen all kind of things happen with these trikes ultimately it boils down to they don't have enough control taxi control and with a tool like this we can just taxi at will all around the field get comfortable driving the wing at a comfortable speed i've got it geared so that it won't go too fast to lose control and cause a terrible accident and that was the goal obviously we got to check our winds before we go a paraglider will tump that thing over if you do it wrong and the wind is too strong but if conditions are right and i've got the thing geared properly i don't think we're gonna have a problem in the world teaching somebody how to steer a wing drive a trike at the same time and once you do that flying becomes easy the hard part is driving the things on the ground and if you have good control on the ground your launches are going to be amazing every time think about that but if you want to sign up for wheel training we're going to schedule now let's talk about that for a minute i'm about to go in here right now and start getting back to emails i not looked at emails in the last i don't know month and change i'm not sure i, I just I just got two backed up. I got two backed up. I had my injury. It's healed now. I'm able to, to do things with it. It hurts. I broke it again immediately. But I'm able to work. I got able to put gloves on. It's not painful anymore. It's not even something I think about very often. So I'm able to continue the projects that I had slated for the summer. When I took off to plant the grass, I was going to also do this stuff, but that got cut short. Get it? <laughs> I made a pun. I'm going to make a video out of this footage somehow or another and uh, go in here and start checking emails. If you send an email to me, as usual, you're in line. If you send an email, contact email, you're in line to get into school. If you're in a rush, that may not be the thing to do, but if you want to come to the school, I will get back with you. Every month or so, I check the email. Is what it's, <laughs> that's, that's what it's basically turned into. About every month, I check the email and I return everything and, and respond to everybody that's contacted me. So that's what I'm about to go do now. Finally hit a stop point we're getting some rain tonight i got the students doing their own practice and i'm done with the build on this trike trainer i'm gonna post this video up and hopefully you get an email back from me and if you want to get in line for this thing holler and i will get back to you winter time's coming i'll have time to do these things check these things start the next year's schedule i've already got a couple people reaching out and i uh, still got to check the line in the email to go so thank you for watching the video i hope you like it i hope you come learn to drive this thing and then you be able to do a trike launch, whatever. I'm also looking into building some machines, too. That's coming right around the corner. Just, uh, I don't know, some Kylo custom rigs. Just build some paramotors, let people fly them. Maybe I'll sell them. I don't know. I got enough stuff in here to hell out. Built one another day out of some old busted ones. But I got stuff to make a whole paramotor. I don't know. I, we'll see what winter brings. We'll see what winter brings. And I hope that you'll come back and join me for that. All right. I'm going to get out of here. I got a mess to clean up. I don't even want to clean it up right now. I just finished painting it today. I don't know that I want to clean the mess up. I think I want to drink a Florida man beer and yeah, yeah, I think I want to drink a beer. Everything's charging. I've been on my feet, been working hard this week. It took me six days, I guess, from when I finished drawing it to when I finished building it. As soon as the wind dies out, we're going we're gonna to tie a wing to it and uh, drive this thing around. And without a doubt, I know it'll work. So subscribe for more. Catch you real soon in the next one. Much love. Kyle out.
This is going to be test run number one with the wing. Of course, my connections are down there by the truck. Derp -de -derp. But hey, that's the beauty of a track. You could just drive where you want to go. You put your wing in your lap. You sit down. You give it the old crank a -rooski. Let's see how it is to crank from the cockpit. Oh, I think it might need a choke. Choke it. Cockpit start clear. <laughs> yep, it needed some choke. All right, here we go. Freaking fast, ain't it? <laughs> no, I decided to be slow. I'm curious. I'm curious if I got my gearing right. This is when I find out. Right here, right now. Kill switch works. I'm going to put my wing out, of course. Yeah, a little bit muddy there. It's, it's muddy. I'm going to try to taxi down the taxiway here just to just to drive the silly thing. That's my goal. And then if it works, we'll let the ground dry out and then we'll go for maneuverability testing. This is just speed test here, basically. Going to use some steel carabiners and uh, uh, attach it with some webbing loops here. These are some of the strongest connections there is. Webbing loop with a collar. Should I do torque compensation? Ha 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 ha. That's funny, isn't it? All right, so there's that. All righty, let's clear out this dude. So we got a bit of a traffic jam here. Oh, it's just some compression loops. <laughs> I was already trying to inflate. I feel a little wind coming from this way. I'm going to bring the wing bag, but I'm going to try to put it in here so I don't get uh, tangled in the wheels or anything like that. Okay, record. Let's give it a go here. All right, here we go. Okay, we're gonna turn with the wing here. <laughs> yeah, it flies pretty good. Got some wind effects going on. I may need to go just a little faster. Not sure. Let's take a left turn here. <laughs> I know I'm going to need a bit of longer brake toggles. My shoulders are kind of uncomfortable, like holding it up. But it does taxi pretty good. Let's do a turn down the taxiway here. Look how accurate I am with it. Oh, stay, stay. <laughs> Stayed on the oh, almost stayed on the center line. I am downwind though, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna turn around, make another pass for the camera, and I'm gonna lay it down, put it up. Whoa! Oh, I'm in like a tailwind. This is funny. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope. Come back, come back. Oh, we're collapsing. We're collapsing. <laughs> All right, dodge the lights. Okay, we dodge the lights. <laughs> Woo oh, we in water. Water test. <laughs> Woo oh, come back, come back. Yeah, a little squirrely when you go turning circles and shit on these things, but it's just kiting. Say stuff you learn anytime. Alright, when I want to put it down, I'm gonna get out here in front of the camera and we're gonna put it down right here. Alright, I'm gonna give it a little left break to get it to go that way. And now a bit of right back up, right break. Just let it, let it settle. Just like that. That was good. I like that. 100%.
successful. So this is the slowest wing and it almost went down in the lightest conditions. So I believe I could gear it up for like, I don't know, a couple of miles an hour. It would certainly give you more control. It does jump just like it would with a prop. Like it's got that bang that it lets off. That will conclude today's episode of the Kylo content. I hope you like the track trainer. It works just fine as is, but if I had like a few miles an hour of wind, I believe the speed would be just right. But if you're gonna do circles, you gotta have zero. And I had a little, there's three right now. There's three right now. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'm not gonna make any big changes. The thing works, Kylo approved. What's up y'all, Kyle out.